she is free. She feels she can make her own decisions about her life and can do whatever she wishes. But can she? As a woman, what can she do with her life? Truthfully, I have done nothing so far except change into the shirt, which is not uncomfortable, but for the like, for the vibe I'm going for today, it's too uncomfortable. Like, so I think the curtain bangs were a flop. Um, I'm gonna try to fix them after this, but yeah, good morning. It is 9 38. Um, AM y'all might see me put like a nose ring on my nose because I am experiencing this keloid And the thing is I actually took out my real nose piercing because of the keloid and it just closed and it's weird because I had that piercing for like A long time I think I got it on my birthday like last year or two years ago And it just never fully healed and I got keloids like 90% of the time and it's like yeah, I feel sexy 2% of the time with this nose ring on, but the other times I have a fat ass keloid and so the keloid is still kind of here. It's gotten smaller, believe it or not. It was bigger than this. But, um, it's not fully healed yet, so it's still there. So sometimes I cover it with a nose ring. Anyway, so today's video, I don't really know what it is. I think, I guess let's address the elephant in the room. I did not wake up with makeup on, um, but my whole channel is about vulnerability and i'm gonna be vulnerable when i say that i have genuinely been having like a period in my life where i just feel ugly and um not all the time it's not all the time but something about coming on camera just raw face and having to sit for hours and watch yourself and edit that it has not been good for my mental health like i did i recorded a makeup video and that was so challenging i told my sister like this is the most humbling type of video like if you want to humble yourself film a makeup video and i feel like i'm just not ready to do that yet and i want to be real and as realistic with y'all because truthfully while i'm doing some of these tasks i wouldn't have makeup on like i might draw today i don't draw with makeup on unless i'm at school or something or like i'm out because you get like a swipe of foundation on your paper it's kind of over like i i could paint with makeup on um I feel like because it's more forgiving on the canvas but i'm super hungry all i know that i'm gonna do today is reshoot a thumbnail for my makeup video because i just didn't do it well and then the rest is up in the air i want to read because i genuinely am trying to like build more of a routine i have been reading twilight but i am also one of those people who reads like 20 books at once so i am also reading honestly most of these books i have started i just never finished oh you want is my hunger all you need is my pain Nothing in between ever meant you lost When you were born it was thunder Fire lit in the sky Okay, so I only ended up reading about like 30 pages um, to be honest I was like, should I lie to them? No, I should not lie to them. I only read like 30 pages. So far, um, from the book, we I've never read the book, but I've watched the movie. And it's funny because Bella is kind of, she's really annoying in the book too. But it's like a familiar annoying to me. So I'm like, you know what? Like, this is the girl we know. And so like, I feel like the filmmakers, though Bella is like really corny in the movie, I think she's also really corny in the book. So like it just makes so much sense like why she is the way she is. Something that has been blowing me is Bella thinks she has superstar status in here. Every time they're like, oh, what's that Isabella? She's like, oh. you know, like, and I'm just like, Bella, it's 
there like it's not that deep but yeah i like it so far though i mean it is what it is like i it's what you would expect i feel like they did so far they did a good job we are on phone cam right now i actually don't get on phone cam a lot like i know i use like a lot of different qualities and different cameras but for some reason phone cam actually not for some reason i am one of those people who have 14,000 photos in my phone <laughs> yes go ahead and judge it's fine i know it's bad uh so i couldn't there was a point where i could not take a simple picture somebody would be like quick quick take a picture of that i couldn't because i didn't have storage it's very humbling very humiliating I had to retire the iPhone. Oh, I don't have dicks. D dicks. I always do this. Dicks. Dicks. <laughs> Sorry, that just threw me off. Cause what? The goal of this vlog is just to try to talk as much as I can because every time I try to do a vlog and talk, I always cut it out and I because I feel like everything I have to say is so insignificant and nobody wants to listen. But it's like when I watch vlogs, I love when they talk to me and I love hearing about just the most random stuff. So I think I'm going to test it out. Oh, hey girl. I am trying to be disciplined and be consistent with YouTube, so I did want to come in and film something today, but I'm sorry it's so short. We better do better. Other than that, I don't really think anything has changed from what I said in this video versus my last. I hope y'all can't see my feet. They are ashy. <laughs>